completely understand. That makes perfect sense. I completely understand what you're saying. Really? Because unless you and your counterpoint are choosing to use two different languages, then yes, you should understand your conversational partner. Do you need to say it with every response? Does it require all those affirmations? Look, excluding my Polish grandmother, who would switch to Polish whenever we walked into the room uninvited and under the age of 13, my mom would nod her head and respond in English. So I grant you this is a possibility. What is it about us that we struggle to just ask another human being a good, sincere, curious question? One that has meaning, creates impact. Is it economical? I mean, is it short? Lose all that filler language. Just ask what you want to know. Whether you ask a question because you want to understand another's point of view or to better connect them to their own agenda. You bog down any connection, the opportunity to build trust and be concise with all of this additional language. I'll coach someone to say a simple, impactful question, and they will twist it and fold it and spindle it and mutilate it until it is overcooked spaghetti. People will say to me, but Joe, I want to put it in my own words. I say, you're already doing that. Your conversation has the power of a 30-watt bulb. So let's be more concise, less wordy. I'm going to go right now. Be big, be bold. Hippos, they can be brief. <laughs>